I would say I just think that because you've got a foundation of knowledge, you've still got an advantage on imperfection because you'll have this sense of balance, won't you? I mean, you've you've always kind of now imposed. Yes, okay, I agree with you on that. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's I a real that. thing which I value highly. So, um, but at the same time, I'm curious as whether your work has a, a color palette. Like, do you have colors that you like using quite often and introducing? Uh, yes, it's uh, French ultramarine. Oh yeah, uh, cadmium red, mm. cadmium yellow, white, and brown. Really? And I watched a, um, this um, guy doing color mixing, mm. and ninety nine. 99% of any colour you put in front of him, he would mix with those colours. Wow. And he says if you if you get four parts, it doesn't have to be French ultramarine, but that's what he uses. It's going to be just ultramarine. Four parts ultramarine mm. blue, two parts uh, cadmium red, one part cadmium yellow, mix it all up and you've got black. Yeah, yeah, because ultramarine is so strong, isn't it? It's just such a strong yeah. pigment. I was thinking because I use cadmium red and I use process yellow because they're very flat. So I quite like a limited color palette because I want everything to be fairly uh, tertiary. You know, I want it to all be mixed so it's not something too vibrant. I quite like pasty whited out colors. And then within right. that, you've got a range where the darkest you can make is a, a purple or browny purple, you know. Yeah. 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 So I think with the there's another color. Sorry, go on. There's another colour palette yeah. uh, which a particular artist uses and I can't remember the artist's name maybe I can look it up and get get it to you um, but it's um, it's mid-ochre mm. um, it's mid-ochre it's uh, like a maroon and I can't remember what they are but uh, I mean the fact that he uses mid-ochre instead of yellow yeah. um, Is it the Zorn palette though? It, by any chance? Is it called Zorn? Because yes. that's that's comes that's from a it. guy called Anders Zorn, you know. And Anders Zorn yes. is a phenomenal draftsman as well. Really good. Yeah. Really interesting. That's the one. I was so impressed with that palette. Yeah. It's, but it's only, I can Just only find paint. it in oil. I can't find it in acrylic. Because I use acrylic mainly. Right. So I think it only exists right. in oil. I could be wrong. I'll have to look. But yeah, I've, I've been tempted to try I've never tried it. But it does look really oh, interesting. It, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, nice. Now, I like the idea of a, a specific palette will give you height in, in kind of in certain areas, just like how you said with the ultramarine. Yeah. yeah. There's, a, there's a, another one, which is, which if you add, I think it's um, Lydian blue. All right, okay. Um, there's a, and there's a red. Um, these are artificial colours. Mm. They're, they're not natural they're very artificial colours and um, the, the very small amount that you can't get with those others yeah. you can get using these really? and it's if you, like, if you were to look at a traffic light mm. on red yeah. it's not a natural red no. and the only way you can get it is by introducing this particular red really? yeah that's interesting yeah I like it was, I found it very interesting yeah I do like uh, playing around with palettes and seeing what's possible and what's outside of the range of uh, certain colours ability to, to stretch beyond that um, I got I want to put a little bit little bit of um, black down and I started introducing yellow into it mm. and the more yellow I put into it the more green it went so it's a specific type of black because you know there's different types of black isn't there there's because um, I've found that there's I've got a couple of types of black myself in acrylic and one is bluer than the other one and that will give you yeah. a green with the yellow, whereas the other one is redder than the other. But you can't see them until they're next to each other. On you know, next to right. other colours, they just look black. Next to each other, one is cooler and one's warmer, and it's it's very subtle. But that does mean that as a mixing colour, it has this interesting ability to to introduce it. There's yeah, there's a painting in in Tate Liverpool, mm. and it's 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 black. Yeah. But it actually consists of something like about 30 different black squares. Really? And every single one of them is black and every single one of them is different. Oh, wow. <laughs> 